My name is Lee Junhao. I'm currently 18 years old. I am the president of Sasa Group. And before that, I was once a student in Methodist Boys Secondary School, Kuala Lumpur. As of right now, I'm in my final semester in Foundation and Arts here in Damansara campus. But I'm planning to pursue my bachelor's degree in psychology later on in Help Subang campus in the near future. Yeah, so to me, the two main things I would say what makes a Sasa scholar would be to have a purpose as well as a sense of responsibility. So first and foremost, you have to understand that right now, as you have gotten your Sasa scholarship, as you are the Sasa recipient, what's next for you? What do you want plan on doing with this scholarship within this one year in time or rather your tenure here in Sasa? Do you want to achieve something greater? Do you want to help other people? What is your plan here? And if you have that purpose, you're already like what, halfway there. But more importantly, I do think that having a sense of responsibility, knowing when to play it cool or knowing when to joke around, it's fine and all. But at the end of the day, as long as you get the job done, I think that you could be a very suitable Sasa scholar as well. Alright, so first of all, I just got to clarify that I don't think of my duties as a president as obligations, I just think of them more as responsibilities. So as a president, one of the, my main responsibilities is being the backbone of the entire Sasa group. So this means communicating with the members and then communicating with the other committee members as well. And more importantly, communicating with the new advisors who are in Sasa, which are guiding us step and step the, all the way. But other than that, I do think that as a president, as well as vice presidents, I think that in Sasa, we have the job scope of directing our ideas. Because in Sasa, you have so many uh, people with full of potential. You have people who want to have fundraising activities. You have people who have uh, ideas on how to do community service. But it's important for the president to know, or rather to direct all our focus into like one single thing first, before we can branch out. Yeah, in my opinion, I think that juggling my responsibilities as a president in Sasa, as well as dealing with all the other assignments I have in my final semester here in Health University, it's a bit challenging, largely because I can't really juggle much through and through. But fortunately enough, I'm grateful to have my vice presidents, all of my other community members, and even some of my friends along the way who managed to just help me out or just hear me rant about just the, you know, the immense pressure that comes with being a president as well as just being a general university student. But I would say that I did an okay job in balancing my studies and my Sasa duties as well. As of right now, since it's the end of our term, we have really nothing much more to achieve other than to make sure that the transition period between the current batch as it is now and the future batches will be smooth. So this means having icebreakers with the new batches as well as hosting elections and briefing them about what are the job scopes when it comes to being a committee member as well. But I do hope that the next batch or rather future batches in general will continue our legacy and maybe even do better than us because right now we're in a COVID-19 pandemic so we, can't, we couldn't really do much. So first and foremost, you just got to get this out of the way first. The main benefit you get from being a scholar is the scholarship itself. So being a Sasa scholar, you wouldn't need to have to worry too much about your finances, your money. And I think it's very beneficial for me to be able to alleviate my family's financial burden because I don't come from a wealthy background. So I'm just really grateful that, you know, Help University presented this opportunity to me and I hope that with this scholarship, we'll be able to do much greater things. And secondly, I would say that one of the main benefits when it comes to being a Sasa scholar is that Sasa itself is a platform for leadership. So before this entire pandemic, before our Sasa term started, we were just a bunch of strangers, a bunch of teenagers who didn't know any better. But throughout our 
hardships, throughout our challenges, we managed to grow closer and I've even witnessed some of my Sasa members to become leaders themselves and you know, grow out of their shell and achieve much greater things than what they're supposed to.